the Easter Bunny works one day a year, travels the world, and is beloved by everyone. Who wouldn't want a job like that? E.B. You're about to be crowned the Easter Bunny. Look. Dad, I want to drum in a band. I want to see the world. E.B., the Easter Bunny sees every country in one night. Oh, really, Dad? What about China? Oh, oh hero! Oh, oh, it's candy, woman! <laughs> All right, so we haven't cracked China yet. I don't want to be the Easter Bunny. 4,000 years of tradition doesn't end just because one selfish bunny doesn't feel like doing it. Houston. Yes, sir. In Texas. In Texas. If you ever come through, let me know. I have a very comfortable fold-out couch. Hospitable people, the people <laughs> in Texas. This is what we hear. So, let me ask. One of the things I really liked about the movie is, is showing the relationships between father and sons and, and how much our, our father really in the end kind of reflects who we are and, and, and kind of, you know, determines who we are in the end. What, have you ever thought about what kind of father you may want to be? Yeah, I want to be, like, I want to make sure that I'm really trying to store up any memory I've got of things that I found difficult or challenging. And when I see that in my children, I think, all oh, right, this is where I've got to do that bit. Yeah. I want to prepare them in case there's some sort of apocalypse as well. That, that's very, that's legitimate. Survival, <laughs> it's a legitimate concern. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We've got to make sure they're self-sufficient and they can live off the land and they're good at karate or some mm -hmm. other martial art. They're good at rock climbing. They know the difference between different flowers and stuff that they can eat. Speak a variety of languages and are ready to, for diplomacy. I'd like them to grow up a bit like you, smart, affable gentlemen of the South. But the question is, are you ready for an apocalypse? Because it, God knows if something happens, I want, I, want, them. I want you to be there. You're right. I don't you, know. Would you protect me? Yes, I've been doing a lot of running. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm doing some, some Krav Maga because after the apocalypse, there's going to be a lot of zombies, right? Obviously. We're ready for them. Elbow them in the throat. And then we'll guzzle them down all nice. Like, we'll put some barbecue sauce on them. Like, Houston style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll enjoy those zombies. I think I am ready for the apocalypse. I feel like like we're, we're securing the, the future of your family line. And, you and all I. mankind. So let's make sure we're completely ready to preserve all mankind, not just you and me. We've got to be responsible for everyone. I feel like we should hug after this interview. I think we should hug throughout the interview, and after it, we should go to a motel. <laughs> Hold on, I'm snared. <laughs> this bloody thing. It's pointless, it's just for fashion. I like you. You smell very good. You smell good. Maybe me and you should start a new life. <laughs> Katie who? Forget her. It's me and you now, bloke from Houston. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's right. I do need to get my act together. In Hollywood, all great artists suffer before they become famous. That lady wrote Harry Potter in a ditch. I have the talent. I have the drive. I have to avoid whatever that was. You know what? We can leave the insurance companies out of this. I think you should have your own holiday. Forget Russell the Brand Day. Russell Brand Day. What do we do? You tell me. Well, it's Russell Brand Day, everyone, down here in Houston. <laughs> so let's pull our trousers and pants down and just salute the moon. That, that's that's part of it. That's one of the ceremonies. Okay. Preparation but, for zombies, obviously. Also, you know how, like in America, even if it's just a schoolboy playing mm -hmm. American football, thousands of people watching is on the telly. Right. On Russell Brand Day, there's none of that. <laughs> just Russell Brand stuff. Films, perhaps things that I might be thinking, ideas of gifts for me. You know what? More people should follow you on Twitter. Get on there. Rusty Rockets, follow me around. Are you following me on Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Do What's you follow your... me? I don't know. Who are you? Jake's Takes. Jake's Takes. I'll be following Jake's Takes from now on. God bless you. <laughs> God bless America. God bless, God bless Russell Branday. I like Jake. <laughs> One of the Russell, greatest honors of my life. You should interview me whenever you want, even if it's night time. We then. need to find EB. Assemble the pink berets at once. Oh, I could bunk down anywhere. West Wing, Master Suite, I'm not picky. Well, what are the newspapers for? Yeah, you know, you're an animal, so... Oh, I understand. I'll just sleep down here, among my poo and pee like a pig. Now he's chasing his dream. Never had one formal lesson. And letting nothing... Fred, why am I in a box? Stand in his way. I'll behave. I'll clean up my mess. I'm special. <laughs> I'm really special. What are you doing? Jelly beans? So you talk and you poop candy. This spring. You're not getting it. I have a date with destiny. Oh, come on. It's all about candy. Don't eat that. You might not like the flavor. Fred, relax. <gasps> Watermelon. Chicks. Can I at least touch it? Ow! There, we touched it. Thank you. And rock and roll. Stop! Stop! I didn't like it. I loved it. 
Huh? Look at this. <gasps> Look how cute this stuffed bunny is. Aww. Oh, he's so soft and cute and cuddly and 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 warm. She's seeing anyone? No, she's single and she's looking for a rabbit. 